Hey guys, this is Diane from Design Creative and today we're going to be learning how to slice up our design. Now this is a Photoshop and I don't really like Photoshop so I'm going to make sure that this section is going to be done so quickly because I don't want to give it any more time than it deserves. But anyway, this is our Photoshop document and the way that we can edit this is pretty simple really. First thing I'm going to do is select my select tool um, and as you can see the actual image of this phone are two separate images there is the phone image and then there is the kind of phone image <laughs> i don't know what else the screen and the phone okay fair enough so what we're going to do is we're going to just get rid of this background you don't necessarily have to do this but i am doing this we're going to get rid of the background and then we're going to go over to the slice tool and we're going to select a slice basically we want to chop out the bit that we want to export once we've done this we go to file and save for web now this dialog box basically tells you on the left hand side this is the original file and on the right hand side is an example of the same file but in an optimised version. So right now this is a JPEG and we don't really want a JPEG for our file because all JPEGs come with a white background if you do not have a background specified. So a JPEG, eh, eh, we definitely don't want it as a JPEG. Probably a a GIF. Let's have a look and see what a GIF tells us. Now as you can see when we look at the file it just looks really rough around the edges. Um, literally. If we just zoom in and have a look and see it just doesn't look... it looks like it's over contrasted right? And if I mess around with any of these settings it's not really gonna change that. So I think what we need to do is maybe change this into a PNG and see what we get. So now we have our PNG and if we zoom in it just looks perfect. Absolutely what we want, we have a transparent background, it doesn't look overly pixelated, well right now it does because it's, it's at like 600%. If we bring it out, zoom it out to 100% you can see they practically look identical. So the PNG is the right way to go right now. I'm now going to save this as a Photoshop um, mobile, that's what I'm going to call it and we're going to head over now into GIMP and I'm going to show you how to export the same mobile. Okay so now we're in GIMP. I'm not really a GIMP user so I'm literally learning as I'm going along here but it seems pretty easy. All we need to do is head over to the crop tool and in the same way like we did in Photoshop we're just going to draw a rectangle out here. Just going to make sure we resize it so we get what we need to and then I'm going to press enter once I'm happy with it and it brings me to here now as you can see we've got the pink background and we have the arrow so I'm going to go through the layers and just deselect the layers from the panel here so this is how great um, GIMP is it does still keep your layers as layers which is super cool Once we've taken everything out, we want to go to File and Export As. And here we want to name our file, select our type, select our type here as well, and press Save. Now I'm going to show you how to export the same file in Fireworks. 
Now there are a number of ways that you can do this in fireworks, just like I'm sure there are a number of ways that you can do this in GIMP and Photoshop. Um, the easiest way to do it in fireworks, in my opinion, is to select the background, right click and choose hide selection, that hides that background. And with the canvas, what we can do is if we scroll down here, we can select no fill. So we've got a empty background. I can also just move this layer out of the way for now because what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the phone, right click and press insert rectangular slice and what this does is it inserts a slice for us which is super cool, we don't have to worry about drawing stuff in but sometimes it can go a bit over, um, not all the time, most of the time it doesn't but we can easily kind of um, control that by using the side module bits here um, but I'm just going to leave it as it is for now if you have a look on the top it tells us already that this is a GIF we don't want a GIF remember we want this as a PNG so what I could do is scroll down here and choose PNG 32 in my list and then I will right click again and export this slice only what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as fireworks underscore mobile. Now that's it for our tutorial. We've done some slicing. You may have to go through the whole PSC and take out the slices that you need, but never mind if you don't really know what to slice out and what to actually keep. We will be going more into depth as the tutorial goes on. So in the next part of the episode, we are going to be going into WordPress, setting up our themes, jiggling around with our settings, uploading our plugins and all sorts. So make sure you tune in and subscribe and thank you for signing up. We'll see you on the other side. I've got a flake here. And it says, I don't know if you can read that, but it says the crumbliest, flakiest milk chocolate in the world. Let's see if we can get it to focus on everything but my nails. Focus. There we go. crumbliest flakiest milk chocolate now why would that be someone selling point because this fucking thing gets everywhere damn it